Welcome back into the Cowboys report as once again I am the bearer of not good news for Dallas. Earlier today the Mike McCarthy positive test. Now Dallas Cowboys defensive tackle Tristan Hill has been suspended for two games by the NFL as a result of his sucker punch of Raiders offensive guard John Simpson after the Cowboys Thanksgiving game. The NFL coming down profoundly hard on Tristan Hill as a part of this suspension. This is one of the tougher suspensions you will see for a player throwing a punch. We all remember the uh, Kadarius Tony non-suspension. So Hill's suspension will cost him two games. Now, he can still appeal this, but as it sits right now, the two games he is set to miss at the New Orleans Saints in Week 13, at the Washington football team in Week 14 as well. In the event that Tristan Hill serves this two-game suspension against the Saints, which I'm not sure he will with the timing of an appeal. This is what the Cowboys' defensive line depth chart looks like on the interior. Osa Odigizua, Carlos Watkins, Justin Hamilton, Quinton Bohanna as well, Neville Gallimore, and Brent Urban, both on IR. We will talk more about Neville Gallimore here later on in today's video. Some Positive news on that front, but the big news right now, defensive tackle Tristan Hill has been suspended by the NFL. And I'll make note here is that Hill can still appeal this suspension. That would be heard by either Derek Brooks, the former Bucks linebacker, or, or James Thrash. Those are the jointly appointed by the NFL and the NFL PA in terms of the, the appeals process there. Now, that two-game suspension can be appealed. The process normally doesn't take less than a couple of days. So I think what you could see, who knows, it's the NFL after all, you could see he'll appeal, appeal the suspension right now, be activated, or, and then play in the Saints game, then get the decision, miss two games, which by then maybe the Cowboys have some defensive tackle reinforcements. Not all of you will agree with this, but I believe it to be true. Tristan Hill was actually playing pretty well for Dallas. He was showing some ability. He actually, I thought, played pretty well against the Raiders. Uh, Oso Digizua, the other defense lineman, did not have their best games overall. He has a lot of expectations. Make no mistake. This is not his first incident in the NFL or with the NFL either. He got susp or got fined pretty heavily for the Seahawks game before his injury last year for some. Well, since he got fined, I'll call it dirty plays in the end. But this is a loss for Dallas as those losses continue to mount overall for this team. Now, I know what many of you are thinking, and I understand it. Does the NFL hate the Cowboys because you're giving Hill a tough suspension for what we've seen other players do? Uh, you can make an argument. So, safe space to vent. Does the NFL hate the Cowboys? Why for yes and for no? This is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, head down to that pinned comment and let me know how you feel. This is the toughest or at least tied for the toughest discipline that I can recall for a punch. This matches, and this is just going off my own memory. I'm sure there's maybe some other examples out there. Maybe the stats and research team can figure it out. Javon Wims, the Bears uh, receiver, got two games when he slapped Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, one of the NFL's best trash talkers, a couple years ago in the Bears-Saints game. So the precedent, at least, is there. At the same time, we have seen other players this year throw punches. Kadarius Toney punched Demonte Casey and got a fine for that. Aaron Donald yesterday very clearly choked a guy, and there was no discipline, at least as of yet, for Donald. That Donald takes some more time, but there was no flag on that particular play. It's a bit curious to see the Cowboys and other players from other teams do a very similar thing. CeeDee Lamb waves goodbye. He gets fined. Josh Allen in a game waves goodbye. He does not get fined. The, the consistency from NFL officiating, from NFL discipline, is not always there. I don't say this to, to, to you know, make, oh, I, Tristan Hill should have been disciplined at all. It's not, oh, it's not what I'm saying. But the lack of consistency when it comes to discipline and suspensions and fines and flags is showing its ugly head right now as it relates to the Dallas Cowboys. 
Now, there's only a limited time left on this particular deal, my friends. The Cyber Monday sale for the Dallas Cowboys and our friends over at Fanatics, well, ends on Monday. 20% off, sometimes higher sales, by the way, on a wide variety of products when you go to chatsports.com slash cowboys. That URL will take you right into the Fanatics sale site. So shop around, look around, do that online shopping, find yourself some great deals. Use promo code MONDAY at checkout to get 20% off of stuff not already discounted. So that link, my friends, will be in the comment section and it'll be in the description as well. It is the Fanatics Cyber Monday sale at chatsports.com slash cowboys. If you guys want more free Cowboys videos, by the way, we'll have our own Cyber Monday deal as it relates to the YouTube channel right here. Free for uh, ever moving forward. So if you want in on that deal, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Now, what is your one word reaction? As I did not script this the way I meant to. Either way, who cares? One word reaction to Tristan Hill's suspension for the Dallas Cowboys. Let me know what you're thinking there in the comments section. My one word, bruh. Because what are you doing out here? First off, you can't be doing stupid things as an NFL player. Hanging out there, waiting around midfield. I think it was a big factor in why he got the two games. Waiting for John Simpson to show up and then, and then punch him. That's stupid. You can't do those types of things. On the bright side, I'll make this point. There is some help coming here for the Dallas Cowboys and for America's team. Especially if that timing ends up looking like what I suggested it might look like with Hill appealing a suspension. Because Neville Gallimore is set to return for the Dallas Cowboys in the very near future. Earlier today, he was designated to return from injured reserve. Now, this opens up a 21-day window for Gallimore to practice and not count against the active roster. By the end of that 21-day window, at that point, the Cowboys are able to activate him and then he has to count or he has to sit on IR for the rest of the year. That window, folks, is a maximum of 21 days, not a minimum of 21 days, meaning he could return in the not-too-distant future. Maybe for the Washington game, that could be an option for Gallimore. I, or Gallimore, I'd say, worst case, by that Giants game thereabouts. The, the window is open. Help is coming on that interior defense line, and the Cowboys, I think, need Gallimore back pretty badly. We'll finish up our Tristan Hill conversation here with, I want you guys to be honest with this particular question. Should Tristan Hill have been suspended? One for yes, at least one game. Zero for no, it should have been a fine. Let me know your honest thoughts in the comments section. I think there's no way around this. At minimum, Hill deserved something for the punch. Whether it was a hefty fine, a one-game suspension, or the rather heavy-handed two-game suspension the NFL has given him, he deserved discipline. That was a dumb and, frankly, a dirty move by Tristan Hill. Also a bit stupid because you're, you're punching a helmet that's a hard surface, whatever. It was uncalled for, unacceptable, and does deserve discipline. And, oh, by the way, this is not Tristan Hill's first at least potentially dirty incident. There were the Gator rolls against the Seahawks from last year that I don't think the NFL has forgotten about either. So I do not care for what Tristan Hill has done. A two-game suspension is a little bit tough, a little bit heavy-handed. You could have gone with one, could have gone with less because we've seen other punches be thrown. Makes it interesting from a consistency standpoint. But in the end, just don't punch the guy. And if you're Tristan Hill, then you don't get suspended. That was undisciplined play by Hill. And I wonder, by the way, with this or with this voiding his future guarantees, what this means for his future in Dallas.